Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James Nals the Brink, and we are one community. And today I am excited to announce the beta announcement, the launch of the Deck Revealed app. I've been working on this for three months plus, um, conceptually even longer than that. And I am proud to announce that it is ready for, um, it's more or less I wanted to get it out into your guys' hands. It is the next best app for the Steam Deck. It is going to be the one place that you go to for all your Steam Deck needs in a sense where if you want to install a utility or install a web application or an application that's recommended for the Steam Deck, that you'll be able to go here and find it. And so with that, let's let's get into like what you kind of need to know, uh, some of the features, planned features. There's a lot that needs to be talked about. So let's get into it. But, bef but before we do that, make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar so that you get all the exciting announcements for this project and also a bunch of other videos I'm working on. So I've locked away, but now I'm ready to get back into making videos. And also it helps support the channel, helps support me so I can make these and spend more time working on the project. Okay, first up, what do you need to know? The app is still in beta and it will be an active development for the foreseeable future. It's going to come with a couple of pieces, you know, a couple of bugs, a couple of issues here and there, but it is going to be considerably better from every week to week. So I plan on doing about every week or two a major update, and along the way there could be some bug fixes or hot fixes that you'll see updates to. If you run into a bug though, you can report it in the settings area where you have an account. So you have to make sure you can create an account. You don't need to be a paid user to create an account. Creating an account will give you the option of creating favorites. So you'll be able to favorite the applications that you like the most and also see the most recent apps that you've used. You can report an issue, it helps me, and also makes it so that I can make your experience better. So make sure to do that if you run into two issues. I also hid it behind an account so that it couldn't be spammed or botted or anything else like that so I can have some more control. Then paid accounts will have access to adding their own apps right away. So that's just a note, like if you're a pro or a pro plus, which is what early access is getting renamed into, you're gonna get a couple extra features that are more infrastructure based. The reason I have paid beyond just supporting the app is to help pay for infrastructure that would be more expensive like backups. I have to pay for the data storage and all that. So you're gonna be able to add your own custom web applications and soon to be anything that's from like, let's say an app image or whatnot, you're gonna be able to also add in and be able to add it and launch it. I'm also working on adding the backup feature for emulators and save games and I'll get into that later. Just so you know, that one's gonna be, I think, a key one and it's been voted on by the current patrons as the feature that I'm working on next after flushing out a couple of pieces here. It's actually what I'm working on this week. Then with that, I want to let you know what data is being collected so that you're just up, so I'm upfront about it. I'm collecting data, snapshots, stuff like that of not the device per se, like I might get some device information, but it's gonna be of the app. So if it crashes or if you run into an exception, I get reported what it is with some information so I can make sure that I'm fixing all the bugs and everything like that. Then on top of that, the accounts, like I talked about, there's paid accounts, there's free accounts. That is also another thing that's gonna be collecting email. It's gonna be um, asking for a password to be input, that type of stuff. Beyond that, there's no plans for doing targeted ads. There's no plans for collecting too intensive on the analytical side where it'd be behavioral or behind like who you are as a person. Anything, it's gonna be how often is an app gonna be used or whatnot, and it's gonna be used to make sure that I'm supporting the features that people really want. But it's it, nothing too crazy and nothing uh, invasive. And if with any changes to any of that, I will make sure that that's added into the app so you can see about that. Then there'll be a fax page available soon at the deckreveal.com website where you'll be able to find, if you're running into an issue or have a question about the app, I will be adding them there so hey if you have any comments let me know now in the comments below and i will try to add that as a fax if it seems like something interesting that other people are going to need to know so that will be up there soon i am still working on bugs and installing application scripts and flat packs and app images and, and all that stuff with good i'm trying to make sure that it has good support and those things are just not quite done yet so just bear in mind with me when installing utilities or applications that I'm fine tuning that, but the flat pack and app images, those are gonna be working really well in the, in the near future. They already kind of are, but there's gonna be a lot more support. The base for them is done. 
Then I'll be adding additional apps to the project over the next few weeks. So let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you would like to see in the app, including, uh, so I have Netflix, I have a bunch of other stuff in there, or utilities, if you think there's a really cool utility that needs to be added in there. I'm gonna be making it available somewhat soon. I haven't decided yet, it depends on what people want, a way for you to submit your own app or utility to the store to where people can consume it. With that comes vetting and making sure there's no malicious intent behind it. There's a lot of stuff that comes with that, so I'm being a little cautious, but in the future I do plan on adding that. Uh, for now, it's by request and I have to go out and implement it and put it in, for now. So that's kind of the things you kind of need to know. Now, the biggest thing you need to know is how to install it and where to find it. If you go to deckreveal.com, forward slash downloads, you'll be able to see that, hey, at the top, there's this little download button attached to this little section that's, uh, that's going to indicate that that's the installer, the main file you need to get. That is always going to be the best way to install the application. So if you download that, it's always gonna give you the newest release. Um, so if there's a new release that comes out a couple weeks from now, tomorrow, whatever, if you download that and install it every time, even if it's already on your desktop, if you just click that every time, it will install the newest version. That is one way to technically update the app, but there's also a feature in the app in the bottom left that will say update available. You can update the app that way. And it's really easy and that's one of the things I spent a lot of time on. So I hope you appreciate that as I wanted to make sure things were easy. That's the whole point of this is to make sure down the road that people just can do things without with very little effort. Getting back to the guide, you're gonna go and download the latest version of the app to the desktop. It needs to make, you need to make sure that the file is on the desktop. And then once it's there, it's downloaded, double click it and it let it do its thing. It's gonna download and install a couple applications like Chrome and then an app image manager that makes it so that applications are bootable inside of Steam. It's a prerequisite for the app too. And then it will download the app and install it into the applications folder that you can find in the home directory. And that is going to be a place where some future app images live. That's typically for app images and then it will auto launch the app for you. So if you quit out of that and you need to find it, it will be over there in the applications folder. I'm gonna be creating a new script that will also add desktop shortcuts soon so you don't have to go finding it. Or you can just do the awesome thing, which is I made it so you can add it to Steam as a non-Steam game so you can access it from the Steam if you want or from game mode. I will warrant right now, best to use the app in desktop mode as some of the features just aren't gonna work great in desktop mode, especially like adding to Steam and all that. In the near future, hopefully I'll have that all remedied and, and tested. Most of this has been tested in desktop mode. My point is that I do want this to work in game mode as much as possible, but there's a couple of bugs that need to be remedied before we get there. And then the last thing for installing the application, you're gonna wanna go into game mode, go to the controller config, and then you're gonna wanna select keyboard and mouse for now. I will have in the future better support for game pads, but Doing the keyboard and mouse allows you to use the trackpads and it also lets you use the D-pad and some of the buttons and all that. Um, true gamepad support is not quite there yet, but it, it, it will work. It's just, you if you have like a PlayStation controller, it doesn't work for it. Future, that's coming along with some other niceties, I think, too, with that. Then features wise, this is packed with features that are probably less visible as I had to do a lot of base building for this application, meaning a lot of utilities, a lot of functions that I had to build out that are the skeletal structure of this app that makes it so that I can create additional features down the road much easier. Honestly, like I'm gonna be able to do a lot more much quicker now. Um, the past three months has given me a lot to work with. But features you're gonna be able to see are media apps, Netflix, YouTube, stuff like that. Those are web applications that when launched inside a game mode or added to Steam are going to launch in a kiosk mode in the sense of you're gonna, it's gonna be full screen and it will look like a, an actual application. Then along with that, those applications that are applications like Xbox Cloud, GeForce Now that are game streaming services. They'll allow you to once again, it will install everything, make it so it's full screen. You'll be able to essentially, tr it, will, it will feel like a native application you'll be able to scroll around. Then we have the utility scripts. So if there's a games area um, where you can see the games that are installed, that's kind of a coming soon feature in the sense of being able to add mods or being able to see all the games you have on the deck, including from Epic Games and all that. That's kind of like a preview area. If you go to the utilities tab though, you'll see multiple applications or utilities there. MU deck, decky loader plugin, cryo utilities, 
and more, and that will grow over time. That will be a place where you can find scripts, see kind of what there is, read about it, install it and launch it, or at least have it installed like Decky Loader will get installed and then you use it inside of game mode. So just an easier way for you to find it, download it so you don't have to go out and do the extra steps if you don't want. If you go tab over, so at the top of the page, there'll be a little tab system. There'll be, one will say scripts, the other one will say like boot, suspend. You go there, you're gonna be able to see a bunch of boot videos. There's no suspend videos yet, but all you have to do is click on one of those, install, and then you'll be good to go. Like next time you restart your Steam Deck, the boot video will be available. I will be adding a lot more boot videos to, to that list very soon, but that's it, it could take a couple weeks. Um, unless people shout out about it. And then with the features, you're going to be able to favorite your favorite apps, the utilities that you like. You're also going to be able to add the custom applications if you are a pro user. If there's a web application, a website that you want added to the list, you can add that yourself. We'll also be able to add app images and other scripts later down the road in a much easier manner. So if you have a script that you wrote and you just want to add it and so it's auto run wherever you want, you're going to be able to do that soon. And then for Pro Plus users right now, you're going to get early access to features. So with the, the first planned, like the, the thing I'm working on this week for Pro and Pro Plus users, are they're going to be getting access to backing up and syncing your uh, emulator game saves and also being able to back up large amounts of data that are typically associated with emulators for pro plus the reason why i have it like that is because one costs more than the other like if it's a large amount of data it's going to cost a lot more so with limits even on the pro plus account you'll be able to do backups and stuff like that that's what i'm working on next this week along with the playstation and xbox remote applications uh, making it so that you can set up and, and run those all from within the app and also app image discoverer those two things, I'll have more applications added that are related to app images or the Discover Store, which is the flat pack system. And you'll be able to ha see the recommended apps there and install them to your device. Now, as far as future plans, stuff that I have not started working on that is planned, you have emulations like I've talked about. I'm gonna be doing a more integrated system with emulators including potentially even making it so that you can manage your emulators more easily within the application. For now though, EmuDeck is gonna be your best way to go about it. Game launchers, I'm gonna be integrating Heroic Game Launcher into it, but eventually I do plan on, in a later date, adding first-party support for Epic Games integrations and some other launcher integrations to where you don't have to launch another application, you can just see everything, download it, manage it in one place instead of going out. You also have, for the Pro account, auto-find installed games, so anything you install through Heroic or potentially some other launchers, it will be able to auto add those to Steam if you want or to the application. But once again, this is a planned feature down the road, meaning it might take me a couple of weeks to get to it to, you know, months. It just depends on how happy we are with our current state with the emulation and emulator stuff. Game graphic profiles is another one that's planned and it's going to be essentially syncing up the games that you have or setting up the game in an optimized manner for the Steam Deck. It's going to take into account either performance battery or balance, and this is a pro feature and will remain pro feature for now. We'll, we'll see down the road. Once again, these are planned, not working on it yet, so things could change. Then the mod manager is the last one that's major on the list that I'm looking into. I've already started a preview route for this where I've installed a mod on a game and it got working and everything, but it's not even close to being ready for a preview or for anyone else. I just wanted to make sure I could do it. And so this is going to be an interesting one as this is going to be a multi-tiered thing where when I first do the preview for this, it's going to be per game, one mod. And we'll, we'll just have some fun with that. And then we'll break it off into multiple mods for that game. And then we'll break it off into multiple games. And then I'll add support as it goes along, as long as people are liking it. We'll see. I think mods is a pretty popular thing. It will be a large very big uh, project that I want to do right when I go to tackle it. Other feature being considered are the SteamOS Windows Boot Drive Creator Utilities. Windows One will include the drivers with it. It's one that I've started working on already. It will be a very useful utility for users that just want to refresh their computer, their Steam Deck. So it's that's one that's on the, the docket to be in considered, but I have so much already. Okay, what can you do to help Further this app development, how can you help support me? And if I 
and team. I do have actually one other person I work with. It helps both of us. So donations, of course, help, whether it be through Super Chats or through YouTube. Any of the things I'm about to mention are great ways to support the project. Patreon.com forward slash Deck Revealed. DeckRevealed.com. GamesRevealed.com. YouTube.com forward slash at GamesRevealed now. Those are four great ways to support me. And with any of those, if it's a paid tier, you're going to be getting pro account support. And then if you want pro plus or the big deck energy, big deck energy can only be found at Patreon, but for pro plus, you can find it at Patreon or deckrebuild.com. I offered to those two options for various reasons that we're not going to get into into here. The reason anyone that's supporting me and as I'm building this app out, I want to make sure they have access to the stuff I'm creating. And especially over the past few weeks, I have not been able to support some of these channels as much. And so I want to make sure that you get something for your donations. With the support, you get perks in the app and your heart, the good feelings of in your heart. The pro account will be getting the ability to add your own applications and then also the ability to backup, restore, emulator, save game files with snapshots. So you'll have multiple snapshots that you can choose from up to a limit, I'm sure. And then more to come with the pro account. Pro Plus will get all the pro account features plus early access to features on a special channel, a special update channel. And then it will also get larger storage to back up anything you point the path to. Wink, kind of hinting at certain things. With a clause that anything you add there will be on you, anything of the illegal nature or anything else along that, that's up to you. And at one point I might have to implement uh, a system to vet things out of there. And then as a pro plus, you'll be shouted out in the apps credits. You'll see in the bottom left corner of the app, there's a credits thing. If you're in the pro plus, AKA the early access or big deck energy, you get shouted out there. You can request to have your name removed if you want them. But uh, thank you for all the support you guys do. I want to make sure that's one of the perks that you're in there. And then there's more stuff coming down the road for paid users. This is just a start. If you didn't notice in the features I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of pro features or pro pieces to them that are going to be available. I'm not going to obviously lock everything behind a pro count. Most of the app is going to be free. With that, thank you guys for everything, for supporting me in this long journey. This has been a very long journey and we're just to the point where I can start pumping out features bug fixes, all that in a very easy manner. And I'm very excited. I'm going to take a little bit of a break today, but I am going to be right back to it, building the next feature for pro users and also fixing all the bugs that I'm sure will pop up. With any project, once you release it, there's little things that pop up that need to be remedied. Um, as this is a one shop for like, I'm just one guy building this. Please have a little bit of patience, but I'm getting there. And I'm really excited for the future. And obviously you can tell like, I like working with the Steam Deck. I like creating this. And this application, the cool thing is it can work on both Windows and Linux. The Windows version is going to come later down the road as I want to flush out some stuff. And obviously not everything on the Linux version or the Steam Deck version is going to work on the Windows version. But there's going to be some niceties between that. And especially with the emulator stuff, that will be nice to sync up your saves just alone between Windows and Steam Deck. So you can play in multiple locations. So with that... Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? What are you excited for? Are there some features that you're wanting more than others? What would make this app even better? Or are you just excited to just try this? Um, it's been very much an awesome app that I've really had a lot of fun working on. And there's just so much more to work on. So I'm going to make sure I don't spend any more time on here. I can go relax a little bit and then get back to work. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my other goodies in the description below. There's, uh, there's good stuff, affiliate links and all that that will help me support the channel and continue on and all that and also note there's some there's some affiliate links in the application itself um in the accessories area oh and soon like you can get deck revealed uh merch i'm going to be changing the merch out just a little bit as i have it so it's curved i don't like it but you can also support the channel by getting merch thank you guys for watching check out my other videos and I'll catch you guys later peace out later